Now I blocked you. Hey, new people. So I ended up actually putting a video up. I put a video up before I went live. I know. But hey, beautiful people. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you guys are dropping the cash app. Hey, Brian, how are you doing? But make sure you guys are liking. Give me a thumbs up for this video. Drop your cash apps. And if y'all have any questions, drop them. Now, listen. I have a very important homework to sign up to do today, so I have to leave at 10. <gasps> Julia. I have a very important homework assignment, so I have to leave at 10. So let's make sure we get the best of this because y'all know I went I went live earlier, so I guess I can kind of make up for me not being able to go live all this time, you guys. But let me go ahead and put this on to Facebook really quickly before we all we get started all the way. All right, Julia. Mama. Mama. What? <laughs> I hear a phone baby. Why would you say nothing about it? Nothing. She's just waiting. Then you got hyped about it. I didn't say nothing about what? What are you talking about? <gasps> I got excited with you. Oh my gosh, she back there critiquing me, y'all. She got to get up out of here, right? She got to go. She got to go. She got to go. <laughs> yeah, but my daughter's behind me. She's got to do some work, but I guess since I've been working a lot, she just feel like this is, she get like, I guess she get the chill right now with me. You feel like you get the chill right now with me, Leah? Yeah. Being down here watching me live. <laughs> Well, I just got Facebook on. Say, hey, Facebook. So I just got out of school. I got a very important assignment. Two of them I got to hurry and get done. So I'm not going to be able to go live too long. But I just dropped another video for the shopping cart trick. So hopefully you guys watch that video. So with that video, don't forget, it's going to show you step by step. So I showed y'all like literally how to do it from all the way from the factor trust, opting into the factor trust. You know, I didn't clear my cookies, but I showed y'all how to clear y'all cookies. And y'all see, I didn't clear my cookies and the pop-up still came up. So, you know, I just want to show y'all that. So clearing the cookies all the way down to allowing pop-ups because y'all seen in my pop-ups were blocked. So allowing pop-ups and even down to doing the Victoria's Secrets all the way through. So all I did was to put $200 worth of items in the cart. When I put the $200 worth of items in the cart, I checked out as a guest. I put that information in that we technically put into Factor Trust, and I got the pop-up. I went continue to shipping, I believe, continue to shipping, and we got that pop-up right away. So hopefully that video was helpful. I want to make sure I keep dropping some more. If y'all need me to do it step by step, I do it a billion times for y'all if y'all need me to. But I will definitely keep showing y'all the same, you know, same ones. And don't forget too, y'all can get my let me let me drop it for you guys. Let me see show, show it to you guys. You guys can get my actual shopping cart trick with all of the shopping cart trick credit cards on trick credit cards on here. So here is the link for that. Let me actually go to the video on Facebook and find it so I can send it to you guys. But let me see. Oh, there we go. So yeah, here is the link here, you guys, for the my sh um, shopping cart trick guide. So there is the link there for the guide, you guys. But make sure y'all drop any questions that y'all have. I already need to get my eyebrows done. Y'all, this is just too obvious. Y'all see that? <laughs> I'm going to hold it. Like I, I got one eyebrow. Y'all don't talk about me. I'm going to get my eyebrows done. That's how y'all not been working like crazy. I'm surprised I got my nails done. I did that last week. But I didn't have enough time to stay for my eyebrows, too. So, like, that's why I look like that. Don't worry about that. But do anybody have any questions about, like, the shopping cart trick, how it works? If it, is anybody having problems getting the pop-ups? What stores are y'all trying? If it's successful for you, which ones are you trying? So, the one I did earlier was Victoria's Secret, which y'all know Express is easy. Now, let's talk about Express. A lot of people, let's talk about Express. So with the Express, when you're getting the, when you, when they're saying, oh, you approved for $25,000, you know, $50,000, $75,000, that just basically means $250, $500, and $750. It's an error ending right now. But 
Hey, Marisha, how are you doing? Hey, Keita, how are you doing? But that, it's just an air. So don't, don't take that too serious. You know, it's an air right now. <laughs> but I'm real. You know I'm telling the truth, though. You know I be telling the truth. You know I'm telling the truth. <laughs> but that's just an air. So don't take them too serious. But if you need to get credit cards, this is like the easiest way to do it. Just try the shopping cart trick. And as you can see, a lot of people are getting approved for credit cards that way. Like when I first, 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 you know, started helping people with their, with their credit, I learned about the shopping cart trick then, which is so funny. I'm showing it to you guys now. This is over three years ago. So I was helping people get these credit cards, but I use the desktop. A lot of people using their phone. Some people getting approved on the phone, which is good. But I use the desktop computer. So that's something else I want to throw out there. I tried to earlier this year. I just got the desktop computer. Actually, earlier this year, during when the Corona first hit, I got it from Amazon. I got it shipped here because everybody went and bought all the computers from Walmart. But so I called Factor Trust. You called them. What did they say? But. I could not get it to work on my desktop. I couldn't get it to work on my phone, but I know the trick. And I'm like, dude, this is, like, is this still working? I haven't talked about it in a while. So I tested it out again. I got the desktop. I'm like, this is going to work. I'm going to pay for the desktop. And it got the desktop and it was working. So I want y'all definitely, definitely, definitely to, you know, do the shopping cart trick. And don't forget, Victoria's Secret is an easy one. Express is another easy one. And then, too, everybody's getting approved for the Camping World Visa. They're giving out $4,000, you know, $3,000, $1,000. Those are Visa cards that y'all can use anywhere. And if you was apply the regular way, y'all would not probably get this credit card. But <laughs> we're not going to talk about that. We're talking about now and what we're doing now. So all you guys have to do is make sure y'all try this trick. She fair down after them, but they said they had an old address. So for me to get the pop-up, I would have to use the old address, even though my credit report shows the correct address. Why why she could not update your address? I would have tried to see if I can update that address because listen, if you use your old address, because remember I told y'all I want y'all to use your address that's on your Equifax. If you use the old address, then I don't think that I, I think that they're gonna send that card there and you're gonna be stuck. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen with Wayfair, so I don't even try to talk about them or mess with them right now. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. You know, Citibank, they do their own little thing, so I don't know. But how are you doing, Sean? What's going on? How are you doing today? But I will see if I can get that address updated. So make sure you guys are using an address that's on a credit bureau and make sure the address is current. Because like you said, too, you can put that old address in. Well, you could try to do it now to see if you get the pop up, though. I would do that if I were you. Because if you get the pop up with the old address, you don't have to continue to go with it. Like when I make the videos with y'all, I'm using somebody else's information. They don't want any more credit cards. So I'm just doing it and I just cancel it. I just exit out the whole thing. And that's why that person got the two letters from, so they got a letter from the Venus, like, hey, don't forget your pre-approved. So they got a letter from them and they got a, a letter from the camping world. Oh, I don't know if you can use the iPad. I'm just saying for me, the desktop work, that's it. Like even before I got the desktop, I wanted to start helping a lot of my clients, you know, do the shopping cart trick earlier this year. I'm like, dang, we need to do something else. A lot of people tight on money. They can't really get the secure credit cards. And I'm like, dang, we can do the shopping cart trick. Right. But the thing is, I wasn't able to get the shopping tr cart trick to pop up. And I wasn't going to tell people to do the shopping cart trick if I can't get a pop up, you know, like, oh, do a shopping cart trick. And you're like, it's not popping up. I wouldn't want to do that. So I got the desktop. I got it to pop up. But some people say they doing it on their phone. So I don't know. Oh, you watching the football game and me? Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> My baby was like, I'm going to go down there and watch your live today. Yo, you just be live all the time. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> I was like, okay, come down. We'll love to have you downstairs watching, you know. But that's probably, he's probably watching the game right now, huh? That's where he at, watching the game. That would make a lot of sense. I see they started playing again. I was surprised to see that the Packers was even playing again, but I'm happy that they won, so I ain't going to hear, you know, nobody crying. 
<laughs> crying if they lost. But you know what? I'm the Packers. You're a whole different team, though, right? Y'all got different teams for different states. So we with the Green Bay Packers, and they actually won yesterday. So I guess that's totally different. But, James, you can definitely try with your iPad. But the thing is, with an iPad, you don't have um, – you don't have Chrome, do you? Huh? Do we have? Yeah, you have Chrome on, on all devices. Even with the iPad? Uh, I never had an iPad before, but I think so. Mm -hmm. I don't think. I don't think. No, that's like with the iPhone. We didn't have Chrome on our iPhones. Oh yeah, you don't have Chrome. You have Safari. You have Safari. I don't know if it'll work with Safari. I don't know. That sounds sad. I don't know. You can try though, or try. I don't know because if you got an iPhone, then you like. I really don't know about that. My daughter said maybe you should download Chrome, but I don't know if you can download. You gotta use another device. If it don't work on there, I don't know. Try it because I'm gonna get to this trick. Like when I was making a video for y'all, I had to show y'all all these extra steps. Do this, do that. If I just would have went straight to it. I would have had it done quickly. You go to the store, you know, go to that store that you want to get something from. You know, you put $200 to $250 worth of stuff in your cart. And after you put that stuff up in your cart, you know, you go check out as a guest. It's so quick. I go straight. I, I, when I go to Victoria's Secret, I always want to look at the lines, right? Because I'm like, oh, I'm going to get something else, right? But I go straight there, get $200 to $250 worth of stuff, put it in my cart, go ahead and check out as a guest. Then I put all the information in, you know, the same information that you put into Factor Trust. Put that information in. After you put that information in, go ahead and continue to ship it, and you should get that pop-up. Oh, wow. <laughs> to say their life. Oh, that's got to be sad. It got to be sad. Hopefully, Packers win, though. I really want them to go to the Super Bowl, Super Bowl again. I really want to go to a um, football game, too, in person. But to all the new people that's just coming in, I only got two thumbs up, and I got these people, a lot of people in here. So make sure you guys thumbs up the video. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel already. And I'm going over basically the video I just put out for the shopping cart trick. If anybody still have questions, I'm here to help with those questions. Because I see a lot of people asking questions in the comments. And I like that I can just go live and answer them right now, too. Because sometimes I'm not as speedy as I want to be with the comments. So I figure if I come here, answer the question, then we'll be good. So let me see. I'm gonna add, let me read some of the comments I have right now. So I can, I'm going to answer them live. Oh, somebody just put Milton. Milton 12 minutes ago, he said he approved for I'm going to copy and paste so y'all can see it if I can. He said he was approved for Express for $750 and Victoria's Secret $550. Oh, that's good. Congratulations. I'm happy for him. Somebody dropped their cash app on the video, which is good. Make sure y'all always drop y'all cash apps on the video. It worked for me the first time, Victoria's Secret. The wife will approve. <laughs> I like that. Oh, that, is, that is good. That's Marvin. Marvin Allen. That is good. Yes, I like that. So that was 20 minutes ago. They just dropped that comment, y'all. So let me drop that comment for y'all. Oh wow. Y'all make sure y'all drop y'all make sure y'all try this trick out. Let me see what else is what else they saying. Somebody just said good stuff. Somebody said it didn't work for them. Who was that? Sonya James said it didn't work for them. If it don't work for y'all, make sure that y'all in incognito mode, y'all allowing pop-ups, y'all clear y'all cookies, and y'all allowing Wait, did I say allowing pop-ups? Clear cookies, incognito mode. Y'all do the factor trust. No, I'm going to show it, and then I'm going to answer your question. I'm like, Dory, y'all. Uh, let me show y'all my tattoo just in case. Like, if y'all know who Dory is, she say, just keep swimming. She got short-term memory loss. When I see a comment, I'm like, I go and look at it. Then I forget what I'm talking about. I'm like, dang, what was I talking about? But I, I remember now. But I'm going to answer your question in a second. But... Make sure you guys go ahead and do all those steps and allow a pop ups is the biggest thing. I don't I don't know who they pull from because don't forget the good Sam is the good Sam is the is gonna be with the shopping cart trick. I don't know. We're not supposed to get an inquiry for them, so I don't know who they're pulling from. 
powering off. But um, if you're in the process of buying a house, so if you're in the process of buying a house, I mean, you're actively buying a house. I wouldn't suggest you apply for anything or anything like that because you should be able to close in, you know, three weeks to a month at the most. It should take that long to close. So I would say just wait. Now, if you you got a pre-approval or often to buy a house in a little bit, but you ain't got a pre-approval yet, because a lot of people say they're in the process of buying a house and they don't even have pre-approval unless you like got the house and you signed on the dollar line that this is your house or you got the pre-approval, then I would still do it. But if you got your pre-approval, you already about to find your house, I would not mess with adding or taking anything off of your credit right now at all because you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, just, just, just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Let's wait. But congratulations on your pre-approval. That's good. Make sure you buy right because right now prices are overpriced. I have a big conversation on that. Right now stuff is overpriced. So um, let me see if I missed anything first. So he asks, what's the time frame to stop applying for cars before a mortgage? It depends. This is a tricky question. So my thing is, I want you to stop applying for cards before you get the mortgage. If you're going to. So as soon as you come, as soon as you come pre-approved at that point, I say stop. Other than that, you know, you're good. Oh, I've seen it, Currency. Thank you so much. Like if you're not pre-approved, then I wouldn't. I would just be like, OK, I'm good now. Or say because another thing, because it's tricky. The thing is, when you pre-approve, they already know what your credit is. We don't want to mess up anything that they already know, right? But the thing is, if you apply for credit cards a week before you got pre-approved, but them credit cards won't add it to your credit report, that's kind of messing with your credit. So if you apply for credit, then I will wait to them cards post, and then I will go ahead and get pre-approved because sometimes people don't understand. Like, in your, in your case, Sean, you know, you got high limit credit cards. If you go and mess around and get a Victoria's Secret, you know, if you get a small limit credit card, then that can drop your credit score. And if they drop your credit score, then you don't want, oh, let me send this. I never sent that, what that man said. You don't want, we don't want certain credit cards to get added because they can drop your credit score and you think you are good after you got pre-approved, but your score got dropped. And now they're going to try to repackage what they they offered you, right? So I would say if you applying for credit cards and you got approved, and then I will go ahead and wait till the cards get added. And then I will go ahead and stop. I will go ahead and do my pre-approval. But you're in the process of a mortgage. You don't want to apply for anything or you don't really want to work on deleting things from your credit too, because... When we work on the lead night from your credit report, anything that we send is not yours or is not right, then what they're going to do is they're going to take that information and not include it when new people pull your credit report. So them items are not going to be included into FI your FICO score. They can still look at them, but they're not going to be included into your score. So your score may be higher when they pull it. But as soon as you take them dispute remarks, like your account is in dispute, as soon as you take that off, your credit score is going to go back to where it was. So that's why a lot of companies tell you like, hey, we do not want dispute remarks on your credit reports. So don't mess with no disputes while you're in the process of buying a house unless it's something. Well, I don't know. I wouldn't mess with no acquirers. If you're in the process of buying a house, it can be a quick process. So a lot of times too, my clients close in like two to three weeks. Like just get that process over with. Are you okay, Julia? Yeah. So, so just get that process over with. And then at that point, I will go and like apply for new things. But other than that, I wouldn't mess with nothing. I'd just be leaving it alone. I hope that's a good explanation. And don't forget, if you apply for credit cards, you don't know how much your credit score is going to go up. And if you got high limit credit cards and you or not even just if you have high limit credit cards, don't forget your age of your account is very important. So say if you already got a lot of credit cards, but they're old, you ain't got no new accounts, you don't have any new inquiries. But now you got this new you got this new account. You did shopping cart trick that can temporarily drop your credit score and maybe it'll go up the next month. But if it temporarily drop your credit score and you supposed to be closing in a week. You ain't got time waiting till next month. You like, hey, no, fix it right now. <laughs> you like, no, I need to get this fixed now. So I, that's why I don't want you guys to like put yourself in those type of situations. So just wait. You asking what companies, what companies do the shopping cart trick work with? So the ones, so I got the full guide you guys can have that tell you like all the companies, but the ones I was telling you guys about that I actually did for you guys, like on my channel was the Victoria's Secrets. 
So I did the Victoria's Secrets. I got the pop-up from them. Express got the pop-up. A lot of people sent a gal proof for those. Those are very easy ones to get. I did the Venus for you guys. And then I did the Overstock.com with you guys too. I think I did that like twice. I made two videos about the Overstock. But I really like the Overstock one a lot. And then I did the Camping World Visa. The Camping, well, the, the Good Sam Visa, the CampingWorld.com one. That's the Visa. So those are the ones I told you guys about. And let me drop the guide just in case you guys want it so y'all can get those credit cards. Now, I was, I'm going to keep saying your name, Sean, because you always on the live. But I was explaining to, you know, Sean and Brandon was in during that time, too. And I think um, Pre was on there, too. But a lot of people... Like, I'm getting a lot of calls and messages right now saying, oh, yeah, yeah, so I'm, I did the trick. You know, they got the guy, and they're getting all these credit cards. Some people, they're getting, like, seven, eight of these cards. And I want y'all to really make sure that y'all being careful. Like, when I say be careful, it's going to be so easy to get these cards. And then we got Christmas season coming up. Shoot, we got my birthday coming up. Let me drop my address for y'all, like, so y'all can. <laughs> Let me drop my address for y'all, but... Seriously, though, yeah, all these different things to the point where you're going to be like, dang, I do got that thousand dollars of Victoria's Secrets. I can get my sister some. I'll get my mom some from there. You know, you got all these different holidays coming up to the point where you're going to think, I just, I want to get my income tax. I'll just pay it off. A lot of people say that. When I get my income tax, I just pay it off. A lot of people sacrifice everything for that Christmas or that holiday time and overstock, y'all. You got Thanksgiving coming up. You got Christmas coming up. Y'all get everything for your house right now. I don't want y'all just to get messed up, you know? And then Visa, somebody got, you know, the $4,000 with the Visa. Sean said he got like $12,000. If that get on the, that get in the wrong people, that get in the wrong people's hands, y'all, that is, it can be very dangerous. So even though I'm showing y'all this trick, like don't go and ball out and knowing you can't pay for it. And then, you know, I got to start working on y'all credit. So like, do y'all understand what I'm saying? Like, I understand y'all got this trick. Y'all know y'all know y'all can get all these different credit cards, but don't mess up with them. Because when I was even looking up to see if this trick worked, I was going through different forums and stuff. Somebody was like, oh, yeah, the trick worked. You know, I got all these different credit cards. They said they got like 15 credit cards. But she was like, now I'm in debt now. And it's like, it sounds good that you can get all these credit cards. And I know I don't want to be on y'all butt like I'm y'all mama, but it sounds good right now, y'all. But if y'all max out them credit cards, it's going to be hell to pay, like, we're paying it back. And then over here, that interest going to hit y'all. Matching out y'all credit cards in general going to drop y'all credit score. So just make sure y'all be cautious. Y'all know, just, just be cautious. That's all I got to say about that. But that comes down to anything credit. You know, y'all get these credit cards. It's going to be easy. Like, wait till y'all clear y'all credit. If y'all credit not clear, a lot of people want to do the shopping cart trick because their credit not clear. Wait till everything is clear and you start, you know, like I was telling you, I was getting the homeless people $5,000, $7,000, $10,000 credit cards. And I'm pretty sure they messed it up. They're, they're homeless. They got tough situations. But it's going to be so easy to build it up after we get y'all, you know, your reports clear. And I don't want y'all to start messing it up before y'all are really able to do anything. So that's my little spiel. I kind of don't want to go into my little spiel because it kind of make me sad going in on y'all like that. <laughs> but I told y'all I got homework, so I'm going to literally go off at 10. Because earlier I was supposed to have my video posted and I'm talking to y'all when I was supposed to post my video and I was messing up. So I want to make sure I go off at 10 o'clock because I got homework to do. And I got to stay on top of that. And I got to make sure I want to spend more time with my clients. I got a lot of clients I need to call tomorrow. So I got to make sure I get off of here at 10. Okay, so let me see. Um, somebody asking about the business credit. Don't forget, I'm planning on having a business credit by the 1st. So when I do the cash out, John, I plan on doing the business credit then. Oh, somebody said when applying, but this is the same person. Milson is the same person that got pre-approved. He left another comment, you know, 30 minutes later saying he was able to get pre-approved. So he said, when applying, are you supposed, are they supposed to ask for your whole social or just the last four digits of your social? They supposed to only ask for the last four, four digits of your social as a verification. That's it. I just did this and got 25K. Then when I got the car, I got $250. That's it. Sorry. I know. I told y'all about the Express. It, it's a glitch in the system for Express. So when I say it's a glitch in the system, they may say y'all gonna get twenty five. That just sounds crazy. I mean, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of money. 
let me drop that so y'all can see that comment too. So I'm just going to drop all the comments. I'm going to read the comments. And if y'all have questions, go ahead and drop them. I just ain't got nothing to talk about. So I'd rather le read everybody else's comments. Because like in class, I don't know if y'all that person. In, well, I'm starting not to be that person. But in class, I'll let everybody ask the question. I'll be like, ooh, ask my question too. Ask my question too. But now I'm more, I just ask my own question. Like, I don't need nobody to ask my question. So maybe some of these will help y'all. Maybe y'all don't even know. Like, well, maybe that's my problem. Uh, somebody was talking about how Navy Federal Credit Union is strict to get into. I tried to get into it back way. Oh, they tried to get in with the back way with the member access number, and they told me I had to prove family relation or that I live in the member's household. Yeah, we've been talking about that a lot. That makes a lot of sense. So let me drop that for y'all, too. So this is, you know, name fed. That's something that I want to get into, but like, I'm not going to get into it deep until I get my until I get my account. But Sean was talking a lot about that. He was definitely putting us up on game with that, about the Navy Fed. Hey, listen, he said, Sean said he don't know why he don't ever see a drop in his score when he apply for cards. Is that weird? It is kind of weird. I usually see some type of drop. I don't know. That's a good thing, though, because don't forget to let me drop that for you guys. If you guys have inquiries on your credit reports and you need to get them removed, I'm going to drop it in for you so you guys can do the inquiry removal. But that is weird. But that's a good weird. That is good. That's a good weird. We don't really want, you know, we really don't want them points to drop anyway from the inquiry. So I guess that's a good thing. Let me see. Let me drop that for you guys. So I was able to get my inquiries removed in four hours, but it's the 12 hour inquiry removal. You guys just follow the steps and do what y'all need to do to get them inquiries removed. Now, this is the key to y'all. Some accounts, they don't like when y'all mess with them inquiries. So if you guys have an account with the company and leave that inquiry alone, it's too late. So Keep that in mind. So say if you apply for Capital One right now, if you apply today, I want you to call, you know, get that stuff taken care of tomorrow. I don't want y'all to wait until that account post on your credit report. Then you're like, okay, but you know, when do I got to get that inquiry deleted? You know, y'all want to get that deleted before post to y'all, uh, before that account actually posts to y'all credit reports. Because when they post, they're not going to want to delete it. They're going to act real funny. And if they delete it, they're going to try to delete the whole account too that's attached to it. So they said Express approved me initially for 25K with Chapman Card Trick 9.3. I just received my card in the mail 9.14 and the limit is $250. So y'all keep that in mind. Oh, I went too far. That Express, if they say you approve for the $25,000, that's really $250. If they say you approve for the $50,000, that's $500. And they say you approve for the $75,000, that's actually $750. That's like the, the new thing that I want everybody to remember right now. So that's the comment. So all the comments I read, I'm going to definitely drop it for y'all so y'all can have them. So y'all can read them just in case I'm just reading it all crazy. Somebody asked, is the inquiry removal 100% real? <laughs> I have an account with Amex that is now charged off status. They sent me an email asking me to reinstate the account in exchange to paying a balance should I reinstate the charge off or try to delete I don't I don't, I don't like when I have charge off I'm not gonna pay y'all I'm not gonna do anything I'm gonna ignore y'all you know and when I had charge off I never had none of them companies try to take me to court and that's just me I just need to get my eyebrows done y'all if y'all see my unibrow I always had a unibrow since I was younger the lady snatched all my eyebrows off before, and I love my eyebrows to be thick, so don't talk about my unibrow. That's all I got to say, because I'm real subconscious about my unibrow, and I just can't look at myself right now. But when I messed up on any of my cards, you know, I never paid them. I just worked on getting them deleted. So if y'all want to set up sell settlements and all that stuff, then that's going to be y'all, but I I don't know, or reinstated, or I just, I just leave them things long.
No, inquiries should not be added when y'all do the shopping cart tricks because they're not gonna be they're not gonna be looking at y'all credit. So y'all shouldn't have any inquiries. But one person did say they get it, they got an inquiry, but I'm wondering did they fill it out wrong too? So somebody said they got 50k with Express, but we all know that's really five hundred dollars. Okay, let me block this person because this is a spammer. Okay, that's the spell now. Great tricks. I love to hear these strategies. Brandon checking in earlier. Oh, wait, listen. So this is this is something different. So somebody said, hello, Rikita, how are you? I tried following the steps in a tutorial video, but I don't have the option to click on block third-party cookies and incognito. What do I do to be able to pick that option? Thank you for your time. This video content is great. Peace and blessings. So you're supposed to actually block. You're supposed to do the cookies and all of that stuff on your regular screen. When you go into incognito, that's when you're like, you're not going to be doing anything but going straight to doing the trick, right? You're not going to be trying to clear cookies, block this, block that. So you want to do that before you get into the incognito. When you get into incognito, it's straight this, and if you go straight action, you know, you should go straight get those cards. So let me see. Thank you. Thank you for the experience. Trick to view all your scores. Wait, do you all to use that experience? Trick to view all your scores. No, I don't know no experience trick. You need to tell me. I pay for experience. I pay for credit check total. I pay for identity IQ. I'm like a credit addict, so I like to look everywhere for my score. I did the camping world, but didn't get com a confirmation email. I don't. I don't know if you're supposed to get. A, are you supposed to get a confirmation email after y'all do the shopping cart trick? I just thought that they just gonna give you that card. I didn't know if they're gonna send you a confirmation. I did not use it today. I been really busy today. I honestly did not call. I didn't call, but I talked to Rodney today. Rodney called me. He was on live. So I'm going to definitely call. I feel bad that I didn't call. But the thing that he told me, too, is he want me to really mess with them, mess with them. Like, where my bank accounts is at, he like, you should switch all that stuff over to Navy Fed and should really mess with them, mess with them. And I think that I should because the bank that I'm at, I'm at now, they don't care what my credit score is. They don't mess with me. They never mess with me, ever. They never really mess with me like that. I always seem like I got to go to a credit union. I got to go somewhere else. So I don't like the big bank thing no more. So I'm definitely thinking about just switching all my accounts over. Okay, listen, Sean, tell me because I'm paying them now. $29.99 per month. And I can tell clients about, well, I don't, well, I don't know who wants to. The thing is, when I be telling y'all these tricks, a lot of people mess it up. A lot of people mess it up, so don't mess it up. Because if it's a lot of people start getting these credit cards, maxing them out, putting them on CPNs, doing all this crazy stuff. And if y'all know what a CPN, I don't want to tell y'all. But a lot of people get this stuff and start doing crazy stuff. And then now it messed up everybody. So, man. Definitely tell me because I'm paying for it, though. <laughs> like, definitely tell me. And are y'all supposed to get the confirmation when y'all do the shopping cart trick? Do y'all get a confirmation after y'all approved? What storm pre preparation mode? What's going on? It's storming out there. I know they have the um, hurricanes out in Florida. At least it must be like coming through something. That's kind of been bothering me. Y'all know that's my target area where I want to be at. Oh, uh, thank you. If you love it so much, definitely tell me like the different things you want me to do. Definitely say, oh, the kitty, you should make a video about this. I like, oh, I got this problem. Like when y'all start telling me, like, I never knew that people wanted the shopping cart trick. Like when I talk to clients, I realize they got problems. I figure out what the problem is. I get the solution. And now I got to make a video because there's so many people out there with that problem. And they don't know, like, it's a solution to it. 
So definitely. Oh, you're welcome. That's so nice. And I still go to like my, my favorite YouTubers and be like, hey, you know that thing you told me? I really appreciate it. And I always do that too to tell other people because I'm I be skeptical a lot too. Like, is this gonna work? You know, but when I go on there and see other people and you know, sometimes too, like I work it a lot. So seeing these comments is very, very, you know, they really help me realize I gotta get up. It's not about me. You know, a lot of people out there need me, and this is beneficial to a lot of people. Because I, I never wanted to do a lot of the stuff I'm talking about now. Y'all don't want to listen to what I want to talk about, but y'all, I'm going to get y'all there. I'm going to definitely get y'all there. Oh, you're in Florida. I had just booked some flights out there, too. You think it's going to be over next week? <laughs> Seriously, though, do you think it'll be over next week? I didn't. I was supposed to. Remember I told y'all they're going to have a sale on Wednesday. They're going to have the tax sales. You know, I'm looking. You know, they got the properties out there for $4,000, $5,000, maximum $10,000. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to go get my property out there. But I see that the hurricanes were coming through. And I'm like, dang, I should slow up my roll a little bit, slow it up a little bit. Well, I'm down for it because if I'm trying to live in Florida, I got to get ready to fight. I got to know how to fight. You know, I got to know what I need to do. And when I see the storm is coming, I can catch a flight because I'm always keep my house here where I'm at. Like, I'm always having a little studio here. Y'all, ain't that how it looks like my video though, where I thumbnail <laughs> with my hair all fluffy? But I'm always having a house here, so I definitely be able to fly back and forth. But definitely stay safe. They got to be kind of scary, a lot of scary. Yeah, so definitely say, say, where's the link for the Express website? www.express.com. That's the link for the Express website. That's the question. So I say, I got a question for you on a similar situation. Need some advice. What's the best way to contact you? Oh, call me. A lot of cash app. What happens if a pop up doesn't show up about the pre approved? If you don't get a pop up for the shopping cart trick, you're not pre approved for it. You got to keep, keep trying or go to a different site. Now, somebody said they got to approve like Sam's Club. I haven't even tried Sam's Club. But the point that they tried that is just like, okay, good. You know, and then too, some people are getting approved for multiple accounts that's on a shopping cart trick. But when I try to do the shopping cart trick using the information that I have, you know, that personal information I'm using, it's not working. So I think that if you're not getting approved, try different companies. Don't, don't be all sad about a company. You know, on to the next one. You'll be able to get approved. It's 80 degrees in Charlotte. That's so, that makes me so sad. Well, how, it was 70s here. I guess it wasn't too bad. It worked for Victoria's Secrets. That's good. Victoria's Secrets is good. I just love it, Victoria's Secrets. I remember I had my Victoria's Secret credit card. I couldn't keep it. I couldn't keep the balance down and save my life. When I tell you, and the thing is, too, y'all get tricked into this. At least this is how I got tricked. Don't get tricked like I got tricked, y'all. So y'all be thinking, like, for my Victoria's Secrets, when I used to really max out my credit cards and I first got into it, I would think, oh, when I get paid, I'll just pay it off. And then you realize, dang. I just, I spend a lot of money just paying these things off. Or I pay the minimum balance. And I'm like, this balance is not moving because of that interest, you guys. And on top of that interest, oh, my gosh. If you using, because don't forget, I want to keep my utilization low. So all, only thing I would think is just pay your bill off. You know, you got this bill, just pay it off. But if you guys use too much on that credit card and then y'all think oh, I'm just going to pay it off, it's not going to be what y'all think it's going to be. It's not. Oh, Milton, we were going over the tax foreclosures the other day. But I'm definitely going to have some on the tax foreclosures. But if you want to find the tax foreclosures, just look up the town that you want to buy them in or the county you want to buy them in and look up tax foreclosures and into Google because Google is your best friend.
But if you switch it back to three, your know, free scores, are you getting it every month for free though? If you ask for the free account? Hey, Roxanne. He is not about your credit. Did I miss it? I don't know what else that means. I must have missed it. So if I do all of that, oh, I'm not finished typing. <laughs> Dang, okay, I got you, I got you. <laughs> so I already got 14 more minutes, y'all. So make sure y'all have any questions, y'all definitely drop it. I got homework to do. I really want to make sure, like, when you pay out of pocket for school, it's a different type of feeling, y'all. It's a different type of feeling. You're like, yeah, I got to get this done. I got to do this. Like, I got no option. I got to do this. <laughs> oh, somebody asked, do you add the payment information when you doing a shopping cart trick? No, don't add the payment information. Well, I still got to get about 15 more credits. 15 more credits. Well, no, I, I need more than I need more than fifteen credits, though. No, I need more than fifteen credits. Let me not even say that. No, I'm gonna need like forty more credits. <laughs> I'm gonna need like total, total, total like forty more credits. Because the only reason why I say that because some stuff I don't think that I'm gonna be able to transfer in. Some stuff I'm made because I switch what I'm doing. So some stuff I'm not gonna be able to transfer in, and then I'll be able to go to law school. Yeah. But the thing is, I wanna I wanna go full force next next year and I know it's going to be a lot but I want to go full force like I want to be like overloaded with a lot I want to be overloaded with a lot you know maybe like take like 24 credits or something that semester I'm only taking 13 this semester so I'm taking 13 credits this semester and it's I don't want to say it's heavy because it's it's heavy it's heavy. I just, I feel like I can, I can, you know, I can wait on my shoulders. I feel like something on my shoulders right now, y'all. If y'all ever see me just doing this, that's because my back, <laughs> my back, I need to pop my back. I need to go work out though. But it's just every, it's just, I can feel the weight on me, you know, with having my little ones doing the, the YouTube now, trying to build up my YouTube, staying on track with everybody, doing the business. It's a lot, but it's worth it. You know, I just think about how much I'll be able to relax after it's all done. No, they should not. Roxanne, they should not check your credit. So it should. They shouldn't check your credit at all when you do it. Like when you do a shopping cart trick, they shouldn't check your credit at all. Well, make sure y'all thumbs up the video. I'm about to be leaving in eleven more minutes. I feel sad. I'm like counting down because I really love being live with y'all. I just feel like y'all like my best friends. I'm just sitting here talking to y'all. Y'all get everything y'all want. And look, Sean put me up on game with this. So, man. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. He got y'all. Oh, they're going to always ask you. Oh. So they're going to always keep asking you for the free trial. Okay, so what if I'm paying for it? What do I do? Go back to the free one right now and then do that? Somebody said on the overstock, it looked like they taken they taken out. They take on the overstock, they took out the checkout as a guest. That's not true. Oh, that's good. Thank you, Roxanne. So I go live every day. So we like new best friends. So just come here if you ever have any questions. I usually go live like after class, which after class for me is like 8:50. But sometimes I go live throughout the day. I might just pop in randomly but definitely you're gonna see me at night at night time and i'm gonna start being more on top of having my lives already up so you guys can know that i'm going live and post it so make sure you guys are getting make sure everybody like y'all getting the notifications so when i say i'm gonna go live or i post something i already know because sometimes too like right now i don't think we like my assistants they're handling everything but 
I can see everything is starting to pick up. A lot of people are starting to really call. So if you ever need anything answered, I'm always here for you. I'm at least trying to go live an hour per day. I think it's like the minimum I can do. Okay, so yeah, I think I went through enough comments, y'all. I think I went through enough comments. But do anybody got any questions? I'm about to be leaving in a minute. I'm about to be leaving. I don't want to leave. But it's reality, huh? That's all right. It's going to be reality. But I am going to go live. And Facebook, y'all know the rules. I always tell y'all I'm going to talk to y'all tomorrow. Or go ahead and look at the link. And you'll be able to go to YouTube and see the video. So I'll talk to y'all later, Facebook. So, the reason I got to check, because I want to see what's the best time I should go live, because I want to see when everybody is online. So, let me see. But I guess see. Oh, I'm going to do that. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. I'm going to do it. I'm going to cancel it. it what is going to hurt to cancel it? Because guess what? If you want to sign back up, you can easily sign back up. It's going to be no problem. Oh, this is an earlier video. I am tripping. I'm like, what is this video? Okay, so let me see. So I do, I don't technically personally help with the inquiries, but if you need like to get inquiries removed from your credit report, I have a guide, an ebook that you can actually re remove your own inquiries. Let me see, let me drop it for you. But I have an ebook so you can work on removing your own inquiries, which is good because as soon as you got that knowledge, you can always do it yourself. You ain't got to work on anybody doing it for you. Oh, did y'all see I finally hit my 2,000 subscribers? Remember last week? I was just so happy. I hit 1,000, and now I doubled it in a week. So I'm like, oh, my gosh. I'm so excited about that, y'all. I didn't do my dance yet. I didn't get to do my dance, but I will do my dance pretty soon. But I told y'all I was going to do a, another cash app giveaway at 5,000, but that's probably going to be next week. Um, at the rate I'm going, we're going to be doing that in two weeks. The 5000 giveaway. Okay, so here we go right here. Uh, you seen that? I'm still not monetized, though, but it's like, all right, that's good, that's good. And the only reason why I really care about getting monetized is because YouTube will push my videos more. That's the only reason why I want to. Hey, how are you doing? I hope you're doing good. You found me on YouTube, huh? <laughs> so that is the ebook right there, though. Like saying, so you can go ahead and do the inquiry removal. And remember, when you do this, make sure that you don't remove inquiries for accounts that you want to keep. If you do it for inquiries you want to keep, they're going to try to delete that account altogether. But I guess you can, if you don't want to keep the account, that would be a good way you can try to get that account removed, too. So. I guess that would be like, okay, I, I'll listen to you, Rikita. But I only got five more minutes on here, y'all. I'm really sad. I feel like I'm really counting down the time. But tomorrow I have more videos coming out, you guys. I definitely have more videos coming out. Let me know if there's any video that y'all want to see right now because I can drop them. What did the black woman realtor do? I just seen a, um, who is that? Learn at your leisure or something? Earn your leisure? I think they just real, recently had a realtor on there. Is that what you're talking about? I just like hearing black anything, though, honestly, because I'm, and the only reason why I say that is because. 
Like when I was younger, I didn't grow up in the best neighborhood. So to think I would never in my wildest dreams think that I honestly will be here. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, you know, you're going to own more than one house when you get older. You're going to have this. You're going to have that. You know, you're going to be making over five figures a month. You're going to be doing all these different big things. And, you know, you're going to be having events and still not show. I never would have been thinking that. But when I started seeing other people doing it and they black women, I'm like, oh, it's possible. It's possible. I'll turn into Whitney Houston. But it's just such an inspiration. Like. When I see people doing good, I don't be hating at all. I be like, dang, they doing it. I can do it too. Like, and I and remember too, all you gotta do if you ever wanna do something that somebody else is doing, or you like, dang, what's it? All you gotta do is follow the paths that they're following. That's all you have to do. That's good. But yeah, I am wanna get into business credit, so that would be available October first. That would be available October first. Oh my gosh, I always wanted to do that, especially, and then I told my dad about this years ago. He's like, yeah, they're going to come kill all of y'all. I'm like, because, <laughs> you know, it's places out in Georgia, you know, it's areas out in Georgia where you can buy the whole town. But to think that the type of money I will be touching pretty soon, and I wouldn't have to put money together, like, Oh, that is so good. But it is good to bring, bring money together. But I'll be able to set up certain things and then put people in my community. Oh, that is so cool. I got to watch that. I definitely got to watch that or listen to it. You know, it's always good to just listen to certain things instead of listening to music. That is really good, though. Oh, that is really good. I'm excited hearing that. Because I've seen that years ago. Yeah, and some of them places out in Georgia, like $750,000, sometimes cheaper than that. And that's not no money. You get the whole community. I mean, from the post office to, don't forget community. What you need for community? You got to have your police station. You got a post office. You got barbershop, all of that stuff. You get all of that with the land plus the properties on the land. You get all of that. You It's like buying a whole town. That's what you're doing. You're buying a whole town with the whole setup, right? And you just got to put everybody in their place. But they did it, though. You know, I always tell people, I don't care what you know. You could have knew how to build the iPhone. You could have know it step by step. But if you didn't do it, it's, it's pointless. I don't care what you know how to do. What are you doing? Action is everything. So they actually took action and did it, though. Like, oh, yeah, you know about it, Rikita. You know about how you can get the properties. Why you ain't getting it, huh? We can got some. And it's like motivating to think, maybe I should go back on that, that tip. Go back on that. Because that is a big thing. That is huge. I am excited to hear that. But y'all know I got one more minute to go live. So I will talk to y'all tomorrow. But let me tell y'all the time, too, before I get off of here. So I'm going to go live tomorrow. At oh, let me look on here. I can tell y'all what time I'm gonna go live on here. So tomorrow I'm gonna go live. I guess just after class. Yeah, I'm just gonna go live after class, y'all. And not before then. I'm gonna go live after class at 8:50. But I'm going to have another video. I'm going to have a video coming out at 6 o'clock. And I'm going to have a video coming out around 10 in the morning. And then I might pop in for a live. Y'all might pop in. I might pop in. But that is good. Thank you for telling me about that, Sean. But remember I was telling y'all that I got to make sure I go do my homework. I'm going to check it out and see. Is it something that you've seen on YouTube? Because I'm definitely going to check it out and see. But... I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow at 8 50. I'll make sure I drop it here for y'all. And congratulations to me to my 2,000 subscribers. Hey, finally. Yes, 2,000 subscribers. I'm so excited about that. So I'll have 3,000 subscribers by the end of this week. I feel it. <laughs> so I'll see y'all later. Bye bye. I think it's.